What's up pilots? This is a short review of the Micro Runcam Eagle. And this is my first flight practicing with it. And the color and the brightness and sharpness of the image are all awesome. Uh, much better than some of the other micro cameras I've used, like the Swift and also the Predator. So stock settings, everything looks great. Uh, but the iFly 4x3 goggles, um, Fatshark HD V3s, and I immediately noticed the field of view on this lens was too narrow for me for racing. I felt like I was constantly having to uh, roll and yaw just so I could see where I was going and to find my racing line. And because of that, I'm constantly overcorrecting trying to just see where to fly. All right, so we're going to replace the stock lens on the Micro Eagle with this run cam short 2.1 field of view lens. This is my favorite lens to use on HS1177s. Um, really good field of view and clear picture. So I will swap this out and we'll see if the field of view on my 4x3 display changes. Okay, so we have the short 2.1 lens on there and the field of view feels a lot wider um, but there's also quite a bit more fisheye. I'm not sure if this is vignetting here on the image, so I'm going to try to move the camera right now from the spot that it's taped down on to see if that moves. And so, yeah, that's a little bit of vignetting. So this lens, although it gives me what I feel like is a wider field of view, um, horizontally and vertically, um, it's cropping off part of the sensor in this corner where my finger is. So... Not sure if there's a different lens that will give me wider field of view and no vignetting, um, but it's good to know that a full-size lens fits on the Micro Eagle. So I might look at a lens from maybe the other Eagles or another camera that is designed for a bigger sensor. Okay, so the last lens I'm going to try is a GoPro lens. Um, GoPro lenses are designed for larger sensors. And so I think if I take this 2.1 short lens off of the Micro Eagle and replace it with this GoPro lens, I might get rid of some of the vignetting that we're seeing on the corners of the image. Um, so you can see it here on the lower and upper corners. So let's do that and then come back in a second. All right, we've got the GoPro lens on and it is freaking huge on this camera. It <laughs> sticks out pretty far. Um, but with the camera mounted on there, we don't have any vignetting on the image. Corners are nice and clear. And this feels like it's giving us more field of view than the stock lens. Um, it looks like a little bit less than the Runcam 2.1 short lens. But no vignetting and the image looks great. So, interesting option. I think I'm going to use the Runcam 2.1 short lens and just ignore the vignetting because I like larger field of view for racing. It allows me to see gates and poles uh, and line up my turns a lot earlier. Here are the three lenses we looked at. This is the Runcam short lens 2.1. This is the stock lens that comes on the Micro Eagle. And this is the GoPro. So side by side, you can see the difference um, the Runcam short lens is a bit taller than the stock lens. The GoPro is definitely the largest of the bunch. And this one didn't screw in very far when it was focused on the sensor, so it stuck out really far from the camera. Uh, but no vignetting, wider field of view, super narrow field of view, widest field of view, but some vignetting on the image. It's good to know that we have options for the Micro Eagle, and you can fit any full-size lens on here. So please experiment. If you've tried other lenses and already know it works well, I'd be happy to hear about it in the comments section.